What is going on everybody? It's JT back for another video. Uh, I want to talk about Jonah. And I understand that most uh, Bible readers, Bible believers, self-proclaimed Christians don't understand the story of Jonah. But when you understand the truth, it starts making perfect sense. And it never really made sense to me until the Holy Spirit started revealing the truth of our reality to me. The thing is, is that we've all been lied to, to the nth degree, and the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. If you want the whole truth, Christ said, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, said the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. And as, as I've stated before, as he's revealed to me, it's going to be the good stuff. It's going to be the bad stuff. It's going to be everything in between. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be supernatural. To the average person, things the Holy Spirit will reveal to a believer is going to be beyond their comprehension. And if you are watching this video, if you have been following this channel, if you yourself have communication with the Holy Spirit, if you are hearing from the Holy Spirit of the Father God through the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the real Jesus Christ, not the fake one, there's a fake one. Oh, yeah, there's a fake one. There's Apollo, too. Okay. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to just break this down real simple, real quick. Okay. Uh, if you've been watching the videos on this channel, from what I understand, the Holy Spirit has shown me things that not many people understand. Uh, it's all by the grace of God. It's by His mercy and His grace. I'm a sinner. A repentant sinner, but I, I'm still a sinner and I'm not necessarily worthy but he talks to me first because he said, Jeremy, tell him the truth. I prayed to God and I said, give me the truth so I can, so I can shout it from the rooftops. And he said, okay. And he's giving it to me liberally. All right. So what it is, is legitimately this whole creation that you live in is underneath water. It's in the deep well. It's the cistern. We are in the bottomless pit right now. Okay. This Genesis 1, the story, that story. Okay, see, the Bible is not necessarily in chronological order. The Lord God made heaven. Everything in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. Everything was made from the Word. Okay? The Word of God. Now, what Lucifer did is he said he would be like the Most High. Okay? What he did is he got cast into the pit. Go to Revelation 9-11, the angel of the bottomless pit. Okay, then he created this. Okay, why do you think in Genesis 1 that there's a firmament? He had to make this God, okay, had to make a firmament to divide the waters above from the waters below because he was cast into the deep water, well, pit, cistern, into the deep. Where we are. And all of heaven and creation is we are basically in the Mariana Trench of heaven right now. That's why it gets dark outside. Because we're in the abyss. Okay? There's a, there's a firmament. We live legitimately in a biodome. There's waters above and waters below. Okay? Go to Genesis 1. In the beginning. It doesn't mean the beginning of all creation. That's not John 1.1. 1, 1. Okay. The angels, the angels were cast down. Okay. More angels fell after Lucifer fell. They have free will. Okay. At least some of them do at least. So that creation story in Genesis one. Remember, he said, let there be light. Who is the light bearer? Who is holding the torch? Who is holding the illumination? It's Lucifer. Pray and discern this message. Okay, but I'm going to get to the story of Jonah and how this is going to make perfect sense to you. Okay? After you understand and have these puzzle pieces. Because this is the secret. And even people who are reading the Bible, they still can't discern it. This is why preachers and people like Joel Osteen and Joyce Meyer and T.D. Jakes can have a Bible in their hand and they preach false doctrine to people who say they're Christians and they're getting lied to. And if they just opened up their Bible and heard from the Holy Spirit, they would probably understand that they're being deceived by wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay. This, th these are secrets that the average man is not allowed to know. They don't want you to know this. 
Because if the truth sets you free, the lie will make you a slave. Okay? So that whole creation story in Genesis 1, go to Genesis 2. Genesis 2 really shouldn't start until like verse 3 or verse 4. And I believe it was interpreted that way on purpose to mislead. Okay? Now, so when you go to uh, Genesis 2, it's verse 3 or verse 4, and then the Lord God there's, there's, makes Adam and Eve. And there's, there's two different creation stories. Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 are two different creation stories. But the angels were made before the Lord God made Adam. Right? Think about that. Think about that. Read them and, and contrast the differences. See how they're different. In Genesis 1, the God of Genesis 1, it doesn't say Lord God, it just says God. So there's a difference. Why would it just say God and why would Genesis 2, the Lord God, the Lord God made Adam? In the Genesis 1, the God made man in his image, male and female, created he them. Angels are andro giant. Lucifer is male and female. Apollyon, apple. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's male and female. It's, it's positive and negative. It's light and darkness. That is why the Masonic checkerboard is black and white. Male and female created he them. Red and blue. Polar. Polaris. Politics. The horseshoe magnet, red and blue with the keystone, the pineal gland in the middle is where the light comes from. If you look at a ring magnet under a ferro flute cell, it looks like an owl. That's why they worship Molech, molecular. Okay? So if we're in the pit, right? Now, we're, un we're underneath water. That's why it gets dark outside. Remember in Revelation, when the Father... Remember, in heaven, in New Jerusalem, there will be no need for the sun anymore. So, so the sun's just going to disappear? That's what Revelation says. And Isaiah says, the sun and moon will be ashamed when God comes back. Will be ashamed. Why would the sun and moon be ashamed? And why will we not need the sun anymore? Because the sun up in the sky isn't a ball of gas. It is not the son of God. The sun, it's Apollo. It's the word of Lucifer. If Jesus Christ is the image of God, this sun is Apollo and it's the word of Lucifer. It's the light being emitted from the light bearer, Lucifer. Lucifer's the black sun. And that sun you see in the sky, right? It's not Jesus Christ. It's not God's son. It's the sun God. He's the mirrored image of Christ. And that's why people, even the elect, would be deceived if it were possible. Because they will not be able to discern it. The sun in the sky is legitimately the image of the beast. It's a right side up pyramid and an upside down pyramid. And when you put them together, it makes the star of Rempan, which is mentioned in the book of Acts twice. It's not the star of David, it's the star of Rempan. It means as above, so below. It is a highly occult symbol. And every snowflake that you see fall from the sky is in a hexagonal pattern. Why? Because water is polar. And it takes the shape of the word of the frequency being emitted from the sun, Apollo. It represents the male and the female. And male and female created he them. The man, in, the man right, that was created in Genesis 1, the serpent, was made in the image of the beast. Male and female created he them. Our central nervous system is male and female it's a tree of knowledge of good and evil watch the adamantium video on this channel and god the holy spirit has me discuss the subject a lot because this is like stuff that the the normal common peasant people that live in the earth remember in the earth not on the earth in the earth is what the bible says this is a firmament they they can't let you know this That star on the Israeli flag is legitimately the image of the beast. It's the symbol for the image of the beast. Right side up pyramid representing the male and the upside down pyramid representing the female all in one temple. That is why snowflakes are all six sided because they actually take the form of the word being emitted from Apollo, the sun god. And Apollo, Apollyon is emitting the image of the beast. Jesus Christ is the image of the father. What's the image of the beast? 
It's Apollo. It's the sun. The you see in the sky is the image of the beast. Because it is the beast. In heaven, God's glory is the light. It does not get dark in heaven. There is no darkness in heaven. It is always light. Because God's glory is the light. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God's son, is the lamp who is seated at the right hand of the Father. And the Holy Spirit is everywhere in heaven. Free communication with the Holy Spirit. After Lucifer got cast into the pit, there's no light here. Well, he's the light bearer. Right? They recycle Adam. This is a plantation. We are farmers. Dun, 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 dun. They farm us. Okay? If you die unsaved, you go to the black sun. And the dragon, you are the gold. We are the gold. We are the bricks. We are the bricks. We are light. We are physical and we are spirit. He steals the light of the damned, of the unsaved. That light, that's the phoenix. Apollo. They have a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit. So the angel of the bottomless pit is Apollo, which all, so look up Sol Invictus, look up Apollo, the sun god. Apollyon, Revelation 9-11. IXXI makes 9-11, the Dodosekis, the, the Divine Feminine, the, the God of Freemasonry, Lucifer, put a put a, put a a pillar on the left and a pillar on the right, IXXI, 9-11, the Jesuits have those 9-11 finger rings. Jesuits, are, it says the Society of Jesus, but it's the Society of Zeus, I Zeus, the I in Zeus. It's not the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they flip and invert the truth. So it looks like it's the truth, but it's inverted. The 33 is the mirror. Okay? So it doesn't get dark in heaven. And where you are, is you are in the pit. We are in, all in the pit right now. We are cast out of heaven. Sin is an abomination to the Father. So he cast Lucifer and every angel that followed him, that was deceived by him, or intentionally understood what he was doing, and fell with him out of their free will, got cast out and into the pit. So after they get cast into the pit, their God, Lucifer, the most beautiful angel God ever made, huge, a cherub, the anointed cherub, perfect in all of his ways until Satan was found in him. Satan was a murder and liar from the very beginning. Right? Lucifer was perfect in all of his ways until Satan was found in him. Satan and Lucifer are not the same entity, but they work together. Like peas and carrots. They're two peas in the same pod. Satan's a spirit, and Lucifer is an angelic being. A body. Lucifer needs a body. Just like people can be possessed, Lucifer got possessed with Satan. With the spirit of iniquity. Until iniquity was found in him. Remember, the Holy Spirit leads you into all truth and is righteous. So Satan is the spirit of lies and he is darkness. That's why it's the black sun. It's legitimately filled with Satan. Steal, kill, and destroy. The black sun sun and moon. We are made in the image of the beast. Apollo is projecting the word of Lucifer. That's why snowflakes are hexagonal. Every snowflake is hexagonal. It's the image of the beast. It's the word being spoken by Satan. He's the God of this world and they call him the light bearer. Everything is frequency and vibration, electricity and magnetism here in the earth. Your spirit is Adam. Okay, light and oscillation. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. It doesn't say in the beginning was electricity and magnetism, because that is Satan. Watch the last two or three videos on this, on this channel if you want to understand these things. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Lightning is electricity and magnetism. Not the Word, not light and oscillation. Light and oscillation is spirit. 
electricity and magnetism is flesh. Right? If you want to comprehend this more, watch the last video on this channel. And like I said, the last two or three really touch base on the subject. On the subject. But we're in the we're in the abyss right now. Watch the adamantium video. We're all created from water. We're polar now. If you look at a water molecule, it's H two O. The O is the crown, and that represents the pineal gland. And water is in the shape of a pyramid. You have a two H's when you. Flip them, it's I, O, I. You have two I's and an O. The pineal. And we're made, sperm, they're little tadpoles. Everything down here is made in the image of the beast. Everything in here has a left lobe and a right lobe. It's a tree of knowledge of good and evil. This whole creation is an abomination to the Father. That's why Jesus Christ came down here and paid our sin debt, because our flesh is programmed to sin, and we were made in the image of the beast. You were made in the image of the beast. Adam and Eve ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and they, they were cast out of paradise. Cast out. An abomination. If you eat from that tree, you will surely die. The tree of knowledge of good and evil is a family tree. Adam and Eve took the promise of the serpent. They wanted to be like gods, knowing good and evil. So now we're in the pit. That's why it gets dark outside. We're in the bottomless pit. There's no light here. The only light is coming from Lucifer. That's why they call him the light bearer. Your spine has 33 vertebrae. Smite me, size, square, and compass. Take the dosekis. Put a line through it. It's W and an M. As above, so below. The mirror image. Woman, man. Walmart. And it's got the sun symbol. And it's six-sided, like a six-sided hexagon. It's the image of the beast. All snowflakes are six-sided because they legitimately take the form of the frequency and light coming from Apollo, the sun god, Lucifer's son, the Antichrist, speaking his word, inverting the truth. Waters above, waters below. Yes, the sky's blue because there's an ocean above us. This is a bottle of water. It's clear, right? But when you have a lot of water and there's light reflecting off of it, it is very lightly concentrated blue. The sky is blue because when you have that much water and you're underneath a celestial ocean and water is re light is reflecting off the water, it's blue. That's what Genesis 1 plainly states. Everything is a lie. It's to keep you deceived and to keep you from knowing the truth of who, what, where, when, and why you are. Everything is a lie. William Casey, he was the head of the FBI or the CIA. He said, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is a lie. So do you think the head of the CIA is going to let these people in the news like give you the truth, like with NASA and these space shuttles going into outer space? Are you kidding me? The moon landing, you just look at that footage. You think that's real? If you think that's real, you need to get your head examined. They're lying about everything. You can't land on the moon. It's, it's, it's a projection. The sun is a projection. It's light. You can't land on it. It's not made of physical. Isis horror set. The moon is Isis. It's Ishtar. It's Easter. Easter eggs. It's, come on. It's the divine feminine. The divine masculine is giving light. That's Horus. That's Apollo. Then the black sun is Lucifer. Set. Seten. Satan. This whole thing is an abomination. This whole thing gets destroyed in the end and gets thrown in the lake of fire. And anybody who wasn't redeemed in the blood of Jesus Christ, who did not repent, who lives in the flesh, worships the image of the beast because all the flesh can understand is the image of the beast. The angel of the bottomless pit is above us. So if the angel of the bottomless pit is above us, where are we? Think about this. Pray on it, discern it. This whole channel, 
everything that God gives me. I know it sounds crazy to people who are just living their daily life, fitting in, just doing what everybody else is doing, being in the world of the world. I used to be that way. The truth is stranger than fiction. The matrix is real. It's deep. It's not a physical prison. It's a prison for your mind. Lies imprison you. And once you understand this, it all makes sense. Now, let's get to the story of Jonah real quick. Okay, the story of Jonah. So Jonah, the Lord God said, go go uh, prophesy against Nineveh. So he was on a ship, and what happened? There was a big tempest, and these storms were coming, right? And they, what, he got thrown overboard? And it said that God prepared a great fish for him, and the fish swallowed him up. And he's in the belly of the fish, the belly of the beast, for three days. And then the fish spit him out. And it said that he was in hell. Jonah was in hell, but he was in the belly of the beast for three days, correct? Read, you can read it in five or six minutes. It's a, it, Dude, there's like two pages, two or three pages to Jonah in the Bible. Listen to it or read it. And this will make sense with what I'm telling you. It makes perfect sense. People are like, oh, the Bible's made up. Jonah's just stupid. Who believes that? Like a whale swallowed him up? Oh, yeah. Because what's in this physical reality and what's up there above the waters, above the firmament, is the ether or spiritual reality. Different mechanics. He died. And he went to hell for three days. And he was in the belly of the beast. For three days. Leviathan? A whale? An amphibious, huge whale swallowed him up? And it says that he was in hell? The black sun? Sun and moon? The sun and the moon are in the eyes of Leviathan? The black sun is the pineal, the light of Leviathan? And the seven wandering stars, what you would call planets, are the chakras of Leviathan. You can't land on them. Every time you look at the sun, you are legitimately looking at the left eye of Leviathan. Every time you look at the moon, you are looking at the right eye of Leviathan, because the beast is male and female. When you see a solar eclipse and there's that black thing, that's not the moon. They're lying about it. Why? Because they can't let you know this. That's the black sun. That's Lucifer. That's the that's where the light comes from, and that's where our light comes from. Once you third eye, open up your third eye. It's illuminated. Open up your third eye. New age. And they, the serpent has these seven chakras, Leviathan, Kundalini. The seven wandering stars, that is... This, those are the seven chakras of the beast, of the serpent. Male and female created he them. Sun and moon created he them. What, the serpent race? We're mixed. Watch the Adamantium video. You are a tadpole. Look at your central nervous system. Look at the brains and the branches. This is a tree of knowledge of good and evil. We're in the abyss. This is an aquatic race. We are an aquatic race. Heaven is massive. It's huge. It is beyond we can't fathom how big heaven is. All this, everything we know, we understand how big the earth is, is, it's in the abyss of heaven. Heaven is a physical place. It's also probably spiritual. There, it's, there's, there's lots of area, and there are uh, what God's showing me and the Holy Spirit showing me is there are also dimensions in these areas. It's not just space. It's space-time and dimensional. God is much bigger, and reality is much bigger then most people can comprehend because the lie makes you a slave. We can't comprehend it because we've been lied to. And then what they do is they lie to you so you have no truth in you. So And they give you this fake reality to believe in when it's all a lie. There are waters above and Leviathan lives in the water above. The earth, take that H at the end of earth and just put it in the front and it says heart. It's the heart of the ocean. And they call Lucifer the heart of the ocean. Made in the image of the beast. The man was made in the image of the beast. Male and female, the tree of knowledge of good and evil is made in the image of the beast. Male and female created he them. It's male and female in one temple. 
Genesis 2 is a different creation story where the Lord God made Adam and then Adam, he brought him all the beasts of the field. He named them and then he was, no help me, it was found for him. And then he took a rib from Adam and fashioned the woman and woman was taken from man. Woman and man. Right? And that's what it says. It doesn't say male and female. It says woman and man. Now, when you go to Genesis 1, it says male and female created he them all in one temple. Two different races, the tree of life. Adam and Eve were of the tree of life. And the serpent is of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He gave them both. He made them polar. Polaris. Sun, moon, black sun is Polaris, the tri-star. And the seven chakras, the seven wandering stars, those are the chakras of the beast. That lives in the abyss, Leviathan. God, God made a great whale to swallow up Jonah. Of course he did. God made Leviathan. He made all the angels, everything. He made everything for his will and his purpose. Maybe to tempt angels. Maybe he gave the angels free will and said, would you love me if you had, if you had choice? And he made Leviathan. And Leviathan's out there just tempting and tempting and tempting and they fell. God can do whatever he wants. You don't question him. You can ask him questions. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So when Jonah went to the, the great whale, it wasn't in the sea beneath. He gave up his spirit and Leviathan took his soul. And he was in the belly of the beast. He went to hell. He was swallowed up by the black sun. And he went to the belly of the beast, the belly of Leviathan for three days. And then it spit him out. That's why Jesus said, the only sign you're going to get, you wicked generation, you, 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 you always want a sign. The only sign you're going to get is the sign of Jonah. Because Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he went to hell and took the keys of life and death from Apollo. He went up there and took it. Because he had never sinned. The grave couldn't hold him because he had never broken the law. Satan tried accusing him and there was nothing to accuse the grave couldn't hold him because he lived a sinless life and shed his blood, paid the ultimate sacrifice, and God blessed him and gave him a crown of glory and honor. And now he reigns at the right hand of the Father because he's worthy. And he paid your sin debt. It's by grace, not, not by works of any man should boast. But that's what happened with Jonah. They lie about who you are what you are, where you are, when you are, and why you are. And once you understand these things, and there's a lot to it, the rabbit hole goes deep, extremely deep. The hidden knowledge goes deep, really deep. And they can't let the common man know these things because when you die unrepentant, the black sun gets your energy and that's what this whole game is about. They're recycling Adam and the fallen angels live here. They look like us, they talk like us. Remember that B.O.B. song? Walk like us, they even talk like us. Dun, 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 dun. You're probably talking to them. There's probably a few in your hometown. Depending on what area you live, there might be higher, you know, population density of them. If you're out in Hollywood, I would say probably very, very extremely high concentrations of fallen angels. They're androgyne. The serpent's androgyne. The line of Cain is androgyne. Male and female created to them. Look at all these people who look like they're trans. What do you think old transgender agenda is about worshiping the image of the beast get your kids to transgender get your kids to worship the image of the beast the serpent leviathan apollyon male and female positive and negative black and white watch the video on this channel before this one if you don't understand the male and the female the image of the beast and the polarity polaris and water is polar we are made in the image of water because we are an aquatic race microcosm macrocosm that's what the holy spirit's been showing me Asking you shall receive, knock, and the door will be open. But that's what happened with Jonah. He went to hell. And he came back. And then Jesus said, the only sign you're going to get is the sign of Jonah. Because he was, he was crucified, died, was buried, and resurrected after three days. Just like Jonah. Right? Jonah went to hell. Jesus went to hell. And they both came back. In the belly of the beast. Another great video is Leviathan and the seven wandering chakras. It's all new age. Our spine has 33 vertebrae. Just like the Masonic number 33, the highest degree. And then you get enlightenment once you hit the pineal. 
There was a beast, male and female, hexagon, snowflakes, Apollo, Satan's word, Lucifer's word. Your pineal gland, your, 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 your flesh pineal gland picks up on the light and frequency coming from the sun. That's why Jesus Christ said, you're of your father the devil. All you hear is Satan, because your flesh is father is Satan. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, and he feeds Adam's spirit. You are Adam and serpent, and you're worshiping the, the image of God, or you're worshiping the image of the beast. You are worshiping him in spirit and truth, or you're worshiping Satan in flesh and in sin. It's black and white, and that's why this video is in black and white. Truth is stranger than fiction. Pray and discern everything I tell you. I'll be judged for my actions and my words. But think about this message and go read the story of Jonah. Those aren't planets that are lying to you. He's the father of lies. He deceives the whole world. It's a battle for souls and your light and your energy. That's all this it's all it's ever been, it's all it ever will be. Your light is extremely important. So God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anybody with eyes to see and ears to hear, pray and discern everything I tell you. I'll be judged for my actions and my words. The truth is stranger than fiction, I understand. But pray and discern and ask the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth to send you the Father's Spirit to light, uh, lead you and guide you into all truth. And pray and discern this and wait for the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's mighty name. This is what he's shown me. And I believe it. 100%. I believe it so much, I'd be willing to I just put everything I have on it. It gets dark here. I want to share this one more thing. I was just about to cut the video off, but anybody's watched this channel and, and has seen a lot of my videos may remember me talking about the time I smoked DMT and I astral projected and god like threw me into the outer darkness i don't know if that's what where god wanted me to go i know he's an all all power but i was cast in outer darkness i didn't know where i was at the time because it was about 12 years ago i was 30 years old and i wasn't anywhere close to where i am today and i didn't understand what happened to me until years and years and years later but i was cast into outer darkness and i was having an anxiety attack there would be wailing and gnashing of teeth and i understood that this darkness was darker than dark it was absent and void of any light and all I saw was this multicolored, vibrant pyramid that was rotating very slowly. And I was way, way, way far away from it. This pyramid, I could see it plain as day. And there were these little glowing balls of light that were orbiting around the pyramid. And it was completely black. I couldn't see any light above. I couldn't see any light below. The only light was coming from this pyramid. And it was multicolored. It looked a lot like a Christmas tree adorned in like all kinds of lights. The tree of knowledge of good and evil, right? And it had these orbs that were going around it. And I was like, what am I looking at? Why am I looking at a pyramid? And I felt pure evil around me. I had no idea what I was looking at at the time. As I grew in God's word and as the Holy Spirit started revealing things to me, after I got saved when I was 35 or 36 years old. God started showing me things. I started reading the Bible and I understood that I was in the outer darkness. In the pit. Looking at the heavens because the heavens rotate and they were sat on foundations. And I understood that we are way, 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 way below any heavenly light. We are in the abyss. And those were the chakras of Leviathan. Encompassing the earth. When you look at those wandering stars, those are luminaries. Those are the chakras of the serpent. The whole New Age movement Open up your chakras. The serpent's made in the image of the beast, so he would open up his chakras to Kundalini, to Satan's spirit, to Leviathan. Completely open up his temple to Satan. The image of the beast. And the head of the dragon is Isis Horus Set. 
right eye is Isis, left eye is Horus, pineal Satan, Polaris, the Tri-Star, the North Star. He descends to the heights of the North, he'd be like the Most High. He got cast into the pit, and Lucifer made his own creation here, and he is the God of this world. And we're all made in the image of the beast. We took on the image of the beast. It's black and white. It's inverted. This whole world is inverted from heaven. That's the 33. As above, so below. The law comes from above. Down here, they're building the wall. Pray and discern this message. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Goodbye.